the kindest thing you can do for yourself is to listen, to listen to your body, to listen to your thoughts. Allow the listening to direct you to what you might need. We just always kind of had a dream of doing something together. Neither of us grew up with a sister, and so um, when we met and our relationship started growing, it was pretty clear that we had something special. And um, I really do think that's like a, a really special piece of the business is our connection to each other. Jesse and I are sister-in-laws. We've known each other for over 15 years and uh, we are both licensed clinical social workers. We are both registered yoga teachers. During COVID, when everyone was so empty and lost, we were feeling the same way. That's when we decided we were going to open a private wellness practice. And from there, um, it has just become the most magical thing. So when we were dreaming of what this business would offer and especially what this space would provide to people. Um, we often say that we built exactly what we needed and couldn't find ourselves in, in certain seasons of life. We do therapy, we do yoga, and we connect the two. We created a space for community for women, a space for women to come and just take some time away from their daily lives to take off their shoes, come in, grab a cup of coffee, cozy up on the couch, take a yoga class, and just feel that support from other women. Keeping our community together, whether that's online or um, here in the studio, it's really just fostering the connection to Metamoxie. It's amazing to be able to work with women that you trust, women that you admire and look up to and have just such admiration for and the work that they're doing in their community. I mean, this, this job is a dream come true, honestly. We offer individual therapy where it's just one-on-one -on -one with myself or Jess. Um, and some of that can be talk therapy and sometimes it's a combination of talk therapy um, integrated with movement therapy as well. So talking can get us a certain, you know, get us to a certain point and sometimes we need to move into our bodies. A variety of yoga classes and workshops here always trying to at least once a month offer some sort of community building experience whether it's just a fun event or a workshop that's specific to a theme we've been hearing in our community one of our favorite things to do is our annual retreats and those are an off-site location where we just really make sure that every woman who walks through the door is seen, they're heard, they are cared for, and completely spoiled throughout the weekend. One part of the Metamoxie business is focusing on corporate retreats and working with businesses that really want to pour into their employees, specifically the women of their company. So we have put together different offerings, whether it's on-site here in our studio where those women can leave the office, walk away from their desks, their emails, their meetings for a couple hours to come do a workshop here in the studio, whether we incorporate some movement in that, some group time, some individual time. We're really getting women to think about their role in the workplace, helping them recharge the battery so that they can go back to the workplace or even to their homes to their families and feel that the, like the gas tank is filled up and they, they got to spend some time on themselves. Meta and Moxie um, sounds simple, but it really describes a lot about, I think, what we're trying to do for women in our community. Meta is a loving kindness or a benevolence to each other and to yourself. And moxie is probably something you think of when you hear the word resiliency or grit or um, just going through something, but knowing that you will come out on the other end of it. And we really believe that the combination of those two is something that every woman has. It just sometimes takes a little bit of time to uncover.